Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to give you some quick tips for editing your Milky Way. So I'm gonna do a basic edit on this Milky Way shot from Secret Beach. So as you can see, the settings for this shot were ISO 5000, this was at 14 millimeters, and this was at F2 for 20 seconds. So zooming in, I can see that the stars are nice and sharp. We don't have any star streaks. And this was a fun shot. I actually ran out and then posed on the rock with a flashlight or a headlamp just to get a nice little light beam there. So we're just gonna keep this to Lightroom only and I'm gonna show you how I would quickly do an edit on this Milky Way image. So first thing I would do is raise up the shadows just a little bit to get a little more detail in the shadows, but not too much because there's gonna be a ton of shadow noise here. Also, the color looks a little green to my eyes, so I'm gonna make it a little more magenta toned. And then I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a touch and boost the whites up to make these stars really pop. You gotta be careful with the whites though because it's really easy to blow out the highlights. So one trick is you can hold down Option or Alt on a PC and you can actually hold this and slide this over till you start to see the whites pop and then you know that you're not blowing them out. But that's still a little too bright right there so I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a touch more. I might also warm this up just a touch, something like that, that looks pretty accurate. So one quick thing I want to get rid of is this plane trail here. So I'm going to use the heel brush and I'm going to have this set to heel and I'm just going to draw a line right across here. You can also hold down shift to make a straight line. And you can see that that just sampled some content from below there. I think that looks good. I'm going to click done and zoom back out. Next, I'm going to grab the radial filter here and I'm just going to make a radial filter that goes right over the core of the Milky Way. So this is actually inverted right now. We want to make sure that it's affecting the center of the filter. So I'm going to make this just where I want it. And then I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to click invert. So now it's actually just affecting the Milky Way. So I'm going to reset that because that is not the effect that I wanted. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to just increase the clarity just a touch just for this core here. And I'm going to make another one and just go over this little area here where the stars are a little bright and double click on effect to reset that. And I'm just gonna bring down the highlights just a little bit in that area. So you can see that the feather could be a little bit higher. So if I increase the feather, it's gonna make the effect a little bit less noticeable or the transition less harsh. So something like that looks good. So if I hit the backslash key on the keyboard, you can see we started here and we're already here just with a few adjustments. So maybe I wanna raise the shadows up just a touch on the foreground here. I'm gonna grab a graduated filter and I'm just gonna bring this up to this area here. I'm gonna double click effect and just raise the shadows just a little bit. I could also reduce the noise a little in that area since I did raise the shadows. And while we're actually talking about noise, let's go down over here to the detail section and zoom in. And I'm gonna do some noise reduction. So I'm just gonna add this to about 20 and then I'm gonna increase the sharpness a little. So one cool thing you can do is actually increase the sharpness and then go down to this masking area here, hold down option on a Mac or alt on a PC and drag this over. And you can see that whatever is going in black is gonna be masked out of the sharpening. So in this case, we're only sharpening the stars and edges. So let's also go down here and remove chromatic aberration and do the profile corrections. So if I zoom back out, you can see when we turn those profile corrections off and on, we did take care of some of the vignette in the image. And we could also reduce the noise further in the foreground here just by doing another graduated filter. And we could just bring that here from the bottom up, double click on effect to reset it to the default, and then just increase the noise reduction in that area here. So when we reduce the noise in the lower portion of the photo, we can retain sharpness in the stars and get rid of some of the noise in the more noise prone areas in the shadows. We could even take that a step further and then just readjust this to make sure that we're covering all of the shadow areas and then go to the brush. And then when we turn on the mask overlay, we can actually see where we're affecting our image with the graduated filter. And with the array selected, let's just turn up the flow a little bit more. 
and then we can actually just paint that noise reduction out of the sky area. And because we have auto mask selected, it's gonna only affect the areas that we started from the painting in. So because we started in the blue, it's not gonna affect the shadows areas of the foreground. And now you can see just with a few basic adjustments, we started off here with this image and we wound up here. So I would normally take this into Photoshop to do some further adjustments, but again, this is just a basic quick edit in Lightroom. So let me know if you have any questions at all about that process in the comments.